A 1.5-liter naturally aspirated engine paired with a manual transmission is probably one of the most reliable combos out there. This is the installation of a Jetta 5-speed manual transmission, and it is secured with 9 bolts. First, a lifting tool is used to raise the transmission, and two bolts are placed in position at the top. When the engine reaches this station, the operator uses the lifting tool to align the transmission with the engine flywheel. An electric wrench is then used to tighten the two upper bolts, and at the next station, the two rear bolts are secured. This area you see here is the transmission differential. This is where the drive shafts will connect, sending power to the wheels. Next, the two bolts at the front are longer. They also secure the starter motor at the same time. The starter motor is probably one of the laziest parts on a car. Its only job is to turn battery power into mechanical motion during startup, using internal gears to spin the engine flywheel and get the engine running. At the very bottom of the transmission, there is an aluminum support arm. This arm connects to the subframe through a rubber mount, helping absorb vibration and reduce shock. Finally, the last three bolts at the bottom are tightened. A Jetta like this, with a 1.5-liter naturally aspirated engine and a manual transmission, actually delivers more usable power than the automatic version and uses less fuel. So why are manual transmissions becoming more and more rare today?